Good morning everybody, I am Sarah with the trains and today you join me for another instalment of Exploring the Breckland Line. It's been quite a while since I did one of these but that's because today I'm visiting one of the less used stations of the Breckland Line. It actually also means that I'm ticking off my final station in Norfolk so it's only taken me two years but I have now, well, I will shortly have visited every station in Norfolk. We're heading off to Spooner Row. One of the few East Midland services that stops at Attleborough. Standing on the Norwich bound platform, I have also noticed a gradient marker on the other side of the line. The weather was supposed to be nicer than this. Come on, cheer up. Oh, we've got a very slight delay. Barriers are going down, that means our train to Spooner Row is on the way. made it to Spooner Row. It probably won't surprise you to know that I was the only person to get off the train here. You've also got to be a bit careful when you get off the train at Spooner Row because the platforms are very short. You can only get out of the front doors of the train. The station was opened with the line between Ely and Trouse in 1845. The line didn't go all the way to Norwich at that point because a bridge hadn't been built over the River Wensum that could carry trains and keep the river navigable by boats. The Norfolk Railway, which had opened Spooner Row, then closed it in 1847. In 1848, the Norfolk Railway got absorbed into the Eastern Counties Railway, which reopened Spooner Row in 1855. Spooner Row was then closed again in 1860 to be reopened for the final time under the Great Eastern Railway in 1882. The station has been open ever since. It survived the beaching acts, but it did close to goods in 1964. Sadly, we don't have any station buildings here at Spooner Row. These were destroyed by fire in the 1970s. There was a signal box here, 
but that was removed in 2012 and moved off to the Mid Norfolk Railway. The manual gates that were still in operation up until 2012 have since been replaced with the usual automatic barriers that we're used to seeing all over the network today. Not surprisingly, because the station is so little served, it doesn't see very many passengers at all. It saw 382 passengers in the year 2022 to 2023, so that's very slightly over one passenger a day. If you want to get really specific, in the period 2022 to 2023, the station only saw service on 303 days, meaning that the actual figure is 1.26 passengers per day. Although I do wonder how many of those passengers were people like me coming here because it's so little served and little used. We'll never know. Now that we've had that brief station history, let's have a look round and see what's here at Spooner Row today. As you can see, the two platforms here at Spooner Row are staggered. Over on the Norwich bound platform, we do have this Harrington hump to bring the platform up to the level of the train. Next to the bench, we've got a little planter and here's some tactile paving. And that's it for platform number one. a little walk across the line to see what's over on platform two. One thing I've already noticed about the platforms is the little ramps up onto the platforms are very steep so this is not a level access station. So platform number two is a little bit longer than platform number one. We've got a good old bus shelter style waiting shelter, a help point, a departure screen. We've also got that level crossing over there. The alarm on it is a little bit off, so I'll have to get that on film in a minute so you can hear what I mean. Don't know if you can really see that, the departure screen says there are no trains due to depart from this platform, which will be correct for quite a few hours. We've also got good old benches, station sign, and plenty of information posters. You do have a nice view of that curve there and a lovely straight run along there. If you're gonna spot at Spooner Row, I recommend platform two. Although we haven't got any railway buildings at the station anymore, we do still have the railway cottages back over on the platform one side. Let's have a look at the onward travel information here. Yep, no buses. So for anybody who's interested in coming here, Mondays to Fridays you've got two trains in the morning going to Norwich and two trains in the afternoon going to Cambridge. On Saturdays you've got one train going to Norwich in the morning and one train going to Cambridge in the evening. On Sundays there's nothing going to Norwich and there's nothing going to Cambridge. The grassy space on the other side of the road is the location of the old Spooner Row signal box. After this closed, it was moved off to Wyndham Abbey Station on the Mid-Norfolk Railway. Now it's time to spot some trains. I spy a plane up there. Can Tico Sprinter or Ian tell me what it is? The barriers have gone down, there's a train coming through, but I don't know whether it's going to be from Norwich or to Norwich, because they're very close together. Also, I don't know if you could hear that, but the alarm is very slightly off there. And just as that disappears into the distance, I can see the train coming the other way. Wow. 
we've got turbo stars on the route from Sheffield again. Not sure how I feel about that. And by that I mean that the 158s are definitely superior, especially over long distances. I'm not sure I would want to go on a 170 all the way from Norwich to Sheffield or beyond. Um, or maybe it's just because I've got fed up with the turbo stars of late because I've ridden a lot of them in Lincolnshire. honking away from the driver there. If you're watching, hello. So as I start to feel some spots of rain, I'm going to say goodbye to Spooner Row, the final station I had to visit in Norfolk, so I can tick that off my list. One little thing I have noticed about this place though, lack of flappy plastic bin and I need to dispose of this wrapper, so that's just going to have to stay in my pocket until I get home. I happen to know there's a little bus stop about 20 minutes walk away that takes me right to my house, so let's take a walk up there. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please drop a like and maybe leave a comment and consider subscribing to me to see more. I'll see you again next time for another railway adventure. Bye. As always, an extra special thank you to all of my patrons and channel members whose names are listed on screen now. You really do keep this channel going. If you'd like to become a patron or channel member or donate to me on Ko-fi, the links to do so are in the description below. Now let's see how I'm doing getting home. And here we go. Here endeth the pavement. The weather forecast today said no rain. It's raining. I didn't bring a coat or an umbrella. So I'm walking for the next mile on a road with no pavement in the rain. So I'm at the bus stop I mentioned, there's no sign to say it's a bus stop, but the map shows it as a bus stop and the first bus app shows it as a bus stop. It looks kind of like um, a bay you would pull into at a bus stop, so I'm going to guess that this is in fact a bus stop in spite of no sign to say it's a bus stop, and I just said bus stop far too many times. We'll see if the bus stops for me at this potential bus stop. Yay, stopping for me.